Mike B, who is that lovely young lady and that dapper young man to your right. These are the members of the Well Hung Heart. I know that just from sitting here. We just played a song called Bullshit. I love the introduction that you give about this song. Tell us a little bit about it. Basically, we had a friend who really wanted or still wants to be a rapper, but he's just no longer our friend. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he would always like write songs about like the hood and like, you know, like old school kind of rap. And I'm like, you can't rap about those things. Like you grew up upper middle class, like your parents, like you have an engineering degree. Uh, <laughs> I think your dad's a dentist. So I wrote him this song, which is bullshit. And so, you called him out on it. I called him out on his bullshit. Tell us a little bit about your little doll there because it's just staring at me. brought a doll with me, and it's a Texas Terry doll. So anyone in Orange County might know who Texas Terry is. She's, she's like my superhero. Okay, where is the bass? Because I hear bass, uh, you know, in this song, and there's like one dude. I split my guitar signal a number of ways, and... and uh, not two strings go through an octave into a bass hand, and oh, then wow. uh, I split the signal another way, which goes through kind of like a, a pedal, which makes it sound like a hammered organ. So I oh, nice. kind of juggle and bring these sounds in. And it's like five amps. Five amps. So it's yeah. like a roto vibe that you put it through, or it's a, it's it's called a pog. A pog. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You guys uh, played at the Orange County Music Awards, and it was live band showcase. How was that experience for you guys? It was really cool and kind of the whole competition was really cool. I mean, even though it's a competition, I felt like all the bands had really good attitudes. We met a lot of cool bands or people we already knew that we then got to play with that maybe we wouldn't normally play with because it was all different genres. What concert or event in your life took place that made you think, this is what I want to do for a living? I'm going to blame David Bowie and Labyrinth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And his oh. big crotch. Not the never-ending story or and something it, like that? No. <laughs> David Bowie and Labyrinth, for sure. What moment have you guys come across and go, wow, I can't believe that I am talking or I'm playing with this person or we're sharing yeah. a stage <laughs> yeah. with this person? That Well, first of all, for the Exene thing, like I had just posted a status on Facebook that said, my dream is to drive around Orange, the city we live in, uh, drunk driving a power wheels. And Exene's assistant read the status and said, Oh my God, me and Exene have been saying the same thing for like four years. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this should be a music video. And then they somehow agreed to it. In my album, there's a picture of a cat skull, which might correctly recognize it. Hey, that's a cat skull. <laughs> now, you act like I'm a freak because I can dude, recognize an animal skull when like I a, see one. Are you like a taxidermist or something? How do you know I that am was not a, a cat? taxidermist. You knew that was a I'm cat. I'm an Uber dermist. Oh my god. Get it? See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uber, okay, yeah. Uber, it's like ah, a taxi company. There we go. <laughs> and I said, it's my cat skull. And then everyone was like, what? <laughs> like, no one here has ever eaten a cat. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs>